Okay, infrared and microwaves. We have to give an example of one use of infrared and one use of microwaves. So, classic use of infrared is remote controls. Whenever you want to change channel from Jeremy Kyle to Countdown. Okay, microwaves. Classic use, mobile phones. Every time you're... There's microwaves flying between your phone and the mask. All right, next bit. State two properties infrared and microwaves have in common. Okay, well, they're both part of the electromagnetic spectrum, but looking at the mark scheme, you don't get a mark for that. You actually have to go into more detail. So, what do waves in the EM spectrum have in common? Well, they all travel at the same speed, which is, of course, the speed of light, which is three times 10 to the eight meters per second. It's worth remembering that number, commit it to memory. What else can you say about EM waves? Well, they both have this, um, they're both transverse waves. All EM waves are transverse waves, as opposed to longitudinal, such as sound waves. What else can you say? Well, they can both be, because they're both waves, they can both be reflected, refracted, diffracted, reflected, refracted, diffracted. There's properties of all waves. Uh, what else can we say? Um, ah, yes. They're both electromagnetic waves, which means they can both travel through a vacuum. Now that's unique, that property is unique to EM waves. They're the only known wave that can travel through a vacuum. They don't need a medium to go through. A vacuum is empty space, it's, it's nothing. There's, there's literally nothing there in space. And these waves can travel through it. But all other waves need, need a medium, such as sound waves need air or water or a, a solid, like you can get sound waves through the earth in earthquakes. Anyway, okay, what's next? We've got to name the 1964 discovery of microwaves in the universe. Well, this is the CMB, the Cosmic Microwave background. You've just got to remember that, commit it to memory and regurgitate it in the exam. CMB, Cosmic Microwave Background, 1964 discovery. Okay, then we've got to say the importance of this discovery. Well, it was a huge discovery, really, really important. These two guys, Penzias and Wilson, they discovered like so many things in science, they discovered this accidentally. And if you look at the apparatus, it, it basically looks like a big horn bolted onto the side of a shed on stilts. And it led to the uh, 1978 Nobel Prize for them. Okay, so the importance of it was that the Big Bang Theory actually predicted the existence of the cosmic microwave background. So this discovery gave huge credence to the Big Bang Theory. It's strong evidence that the Big Bang Theory probably correct. So that's what you put in your exam answer. Um, but yeah, it, it was it, it was a really a really important discovery. The CMB, uh, the the microwaves come from a, a very early period in the universe. The universe is about thirteen point eight billion years old, and according to the Big Bang theory. The, these microwaves are the result of, I think it's called the period of recombination, which is, I think, around 378,000 years into the existence of the universe. 
and the image of them, which I will take from Wikipedia, is a very famous image in science. So there you go, CMB, it's a big deal. Okay, I think that's it, isn't it? Um, oh yeah, I just wanted to mention this. A theory predicting the existence of something or predicting some phenomenon that we can measure is an important theme in science. For example, Einstein's theory of general relativity. In 1915 at the time, astronomers knew about the precession of the perihelion of Mercury. So if you've got the Sun, okay, Mercury orbiting the Sun, I probably exaggerated it a bit much here, but the perihelion is the point at which Mercury is closest to the Sun. And that precessed, um, as time went by, year after year, it, it processes, it, it changes its position. And at the time that couldn't be explained. Until Einstein came along, the general theory of relativity could explain this procession brilliantly. And that's one of the reasons that the, his general theory of relativity was so brilliant because it, it explained this and many other things. But yeah, it's a, it's a theme in science that you know a theory is good when it can predict or explain something which has been observed, which at the time could not be explained. Okay. Yeah, there we go. The CMB, it's a big deal.